In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a rubric for an assignment. We're going to start off by clicking on Turn Editing On. We're going to scroll down to the assignment that we created and uploaded in the previous lesson, which is right here. And we're going to click on Edit, Edit Settings. And this is going to take us back to the um, assignment settings page. And what we want to do here is we want to scroll down to grade right there. Now in the previous lesson, we created simple grading and this is typically for assignments where you don't really have a rubric and you can just enter the points system and perhaps a comment for the students. However, let's say that you've got a more complicated assignment that requires multiple parts to it and you want to include a rubric. What you can do is change the setting here. Go ahead and zoom in. We're going to change this from simple direct grading to rubric. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and then we're going to click on save and display. And this is going to give you a new prompt that allows you to create the rubric. What you want to do here is you want to select the define new grading form from scratch. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to call this homework one rubric. And you can put in a description if you want to. I'm not going to really put in a detailed description. We can just go ahead and copy the same thing over here. And this is where you basically get to create the rubric. You're going to need to list your criterion on your criterion on the left side, and then you can basically add the point system and a brief description. Now I have a very simple rubric for this demonstration purposes. The criteria are right here, these two right there and the point systems are right here as well. So 50 points and then zero basically if um, the students do not include the steps to the calculation. So I'm basically looking for students to ensure that they list all of the steps for a problem that they're going to be solving in the accounting assignment. And I'm also looking for accuracy for them to earn 50 points uh, for each of these, uh, for each criterion. So let's go ahead and basically add that to Moodle. So I'm going to move this to my other screen. And what we're going to do here is we're going to cl click on, uh, first of all, we're going to get rid of that right there because we're only going to have uh, two levels. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to put in our first criterion. And the first one is going to be called steps. And what we're going to do here is this is zero points. I'm going to put the description. So if a student does not include any steps, they're going to get zero points. And if a student includes all of the steps to solving the problem, they're going to get 50 points. And then we're going to add another criterion. So the first one is right there. We've got steps. We've got the description. And then we've got the point system. And once again, you're going to see three columns. We're going to get rid of that right there. And that way we've got the two columns. And this one, this criterion is going to be called accuracy. And you can create as many as you want to. And if a student is got incorrect answer or the answer is correct, but the steps are missing, they're not going to get any points. And if the answer is correct and all of the steps are listed, they're going to get another 50 points. There we go. So now we've got a simple rubric that is going to get added to the assignment as soon as we save. I'm going to leave all of these settings um, the way they are. You can go ahead and change these if you want to. And we're going to save and make this ready. Great. So our rubric has been created. And uh, I am going to cover how to use the rubric in another lesson where we're talking about actually grading.